A couple videos ago I showed you how to post to Twitter. I'm going to go over a little bit more on how to use curl to post to forms. And uh, first thing we need is a form to post to. Uh, you can pick any site with a form, but I'm going to show you how to create a form real easy uh, using Google Documents. Google Documents is free. Just go to Google Docs and, uh, and create an account. Once you're in there, you can go create a new form. When you click that, You've got this easy to use little setup to create forms. You can add as many questions as you want. You can change them to text, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes. You have a lot of options in here. And you can even pick a theme there. Once you have uh, created the form, you'll have a little link that brings you to the form that looks like this. Uh, you can fill out the form. and click submit and then if you go back to your Google Documents you'll see you'll have a spreadsheet for that form and every time someone posts uh, a new form you'll get the output here added to your spreadsheet and it'll be time stamped and so now we're going to go over how to use curl to post to one of these forms so first thing we're going to do is we're going to type curl and then we're going to use the D switch, which is going to indicate that the next part is going to be the, uh, the form uh, variables that we're going to be sending, posting to uh, the, uh, the form itself. So what we need to do is we need to go back to where your form is, and we'll go and we'll look at the um, source code of the page. And in here, if you're familiar at all with HTML, you'll see right here is the form. And uh, action is what we need, because uh, that's where we're going to be posting uh, our information to. And then you're going to have different entries. Uh, and we have entry 0 here. And we have entry 1 here. So that's our first uh, little comment field, which is the username. And the second one is entry one, which is the comment. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to paste in there. And we're going to say equals and we're going to tell it what it equals. And we'll just put in our username. And then we're going to do the end sign to let us know that another variable is coming up. And we're going to change that to one for the second one. And we can just put in there what we want it to say. We'll say this is my post and then we'll do another end sign there and what we're going to put in there is for the uh, submit button and we're going to equal that to submit right like that submit equals submit and then we'll close our quotations next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to put location output and we're going to tell it where to save the HTML output that we're going to get. Otherwise, it's going to come up on the screen. It's going to kind of make the screen look like a mess. But this way, we can save it somewhere so we can check. I'm just going to put it in my temp folder, and we'll call it post.html. And then the last thing we need to put in there is the action in the form. And we only need it up to the first end sign, because then everything after that is variables we don't need. And we will put that in quotations right here pardon me I accidentally double pasted and we'll hit enter and our form should be submitted if we go back to our little spreadsheet here you can see that the form we just filled out is posted inside our spreadsheet uh, this could be very useful you can write scripts that start up and, and post information to your Google Docs or any form that you create and um, and you can get updates on your computer wherever you are that you can access via the internet. So that's using curl to post to forms. Visit uh, bashscripts.info for more information.